Hey everyone, Christopher Beast here, and today I'm going to be showing you all how to unlock the debug menu for Signalis. This menu is usual for people who want to tamper with gameplay, replay specific parts and not the whole game, and various other usages. So with no more delay, let's just get right into this. To start off, you're going to need to be on PC. For this video, I will be using the Steam version of the game, but any version should work. So from your PC, you're going to need to install a Hexcode Reader software. Personally, the one I use and suggest is HXD, which I'll have the website for linked below. I suggest this one because it's rather simple, and because I'm 100% sure it's not a virus because it's a very simple freeware and there's lots of documentation on it. Once this is installed, you're going to want to open it and then go into your files and search for the game file regarding Signalis. Once here, load the gameassembly.dll file into the Hexcode Reader. Then you're going to want to use the search feature in your Hexcode Reader to locate a specific string. Type into the search feature the following string, c 6 41 19 0 0 48 8b 74. Then you're going to want to place your cursor right before the C6. Do not press backspace or delete. Just type the new string. The new string will be as follows. 90909090498b74. Meaning you're only changing the first 8 characters of the string. From here you're going to want to save and exit the hex code editor. Then open up and load into Signalis. Hit the F7 key and you will see you now have access to the debug menu. From here, a lot of it is intuitive. However, if you want a mostly complete list of commands, type help in the debug prompt and it will return a long list of commands as well as a short little detail explaining them. Some specific commands I find interesting are intruder which lets you teleport to an area of choosing, housemaster which unlocks all doors, smart which unlocks all notes, wicked which enables flashlight, Halster, which enables god mode, preventing you from taking damage, and finally the Outfit series, which lets you dress up as Issa, Armored Elster, Injured Elster, or Regular Elster. That's all I've got for you guys today, I hope you guys found this guide helpful. It's been Christopher Beast, and I'll see you all next time.